Welcome everyone, I'm Lord Ridiculous and this is my 10 question YouTuber tag. Thanks Average Joe for passing the book and passing this on to me. I'm not the kind of guy who should be doing these kind of things because I'm fucking too honest. And yeah, I had a look at Joe's video, I had a look at my other friend Greg, uh, Greg Gore Gaming's video, and the production value on both was amazing, so I had to take out my, you know, little book of ideas and pretty much just try to reinvent the wheel and try to set myself apart, so I had to fork out some money and get a celebrity to uh, help me with this and ask me the questions. So, I, where is he? Ah. I can hear you. Do you want to come over here and introduce yourself? No? What am I doing here? Remind me to fire my agent. I'm not going to remind you to fire your agent. So yes, Lord <laughs> Ridiculous. Yes, it's me. You must know there is only one Lord. Okay. That is me. Okay. Lord Vader. Lord Vader. Okay, I but appreciate anyway, your... anyway, I digress. Sorry. Your insignificant channel insignificant. needs me to Tarsh. to elevate to a higher plane, to one with me and Lord Sidious, yes, Sidious. in the Sith realm. Okay, fine. Question Just ask me to one. Question. Yes, thank you. How long have you been doing YouTube? So, I've been doing YouTube since July 2015, which seems like a long, long time, but... Um, I haven't really been doing it full time. It is literally a project for me. So yeah, a year and a few months, I guess. Seriously, you have been doing this for that long, and you only <laughs> have a hundred and sixteen subscribers. Well, one hundred twenty now. If I could laugh, I would. Okay. How many videos do you have on your channel? I have forty-five videos on my channel. End of. Hmm. I must admit, that's pretty low. Yeah. It's a good return on your efforts, I see. Thank you. Hmm, not bad, not bad, not bad. Question three. Yes, three, okay. What was your favorite video to record? Favorite video to record would probably be... Well, I've got a few. Um, my first ever video on the fall PC game was enjoyable. I put a lot of production value into that, or a lot of time into it to get the production value to a certain level. Um, and it did pretty well. Um, other than that, I enjoy doing the collaboration videos that I do with like Gutsman Gaming, Average Joe and Axoma. Who would have thought that an Irishman, two Canadians and an Englishman would get along and produce such great videos? That sounds like a joke of some description. And also, there was one video I did um, on Super Hot, um, the first 10, 15 seconds. It was kind of like, I don't know, a project or a kind of a <laughs> I wanted to create something that would make even me laugh, um, which is hard to do sometimes, um, with me anyway, because I find my humor a bit weird. I laugh at some things, I don't laugh at other things, but I rarely make myself laugh at my own videos, and this one was quite funny. I did. I used um, samples from Big Bang Theory and also Benny Hill music, so it was good. Um, if you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. You laughed at your own video, yeah, and no one else watched it. I don't know. How Very few pitiful. People watched it. it was like that time the stormtrooper got his <laughs> helmet caught in the reactor that was powering the Death Star. <laughs> okay. He died. Question four. four. Okay. Who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber would probably be... Well, I have a mixture. A mixture? A few. I like Angry Joe. He is a Hispanic American who pretty much loves comic books. He idolizes Superman and he does really good um, reviews which kind of are like nearly mini movies. Um, and he does it with his mate, Other Joe. Um, really good. I also like Frankie, uh, Frankie in Frankie on PC in 1080p. There you go, got it right. You should always edit these things. Um, yeah, he does amazing videos. Amazing on DayZ, uh, Overwatch, he's done a few. But mainly DayZ, his videos on DayZ were incredible. He does about one video a month because he's a paralegal and he has no time. But 
when he releases a video, it's pretty good. Um, then also, I like a guy called Mac. He's got two channels, one's called Max Corner, and his most famous one with 100 plus thousand subs is um, called Worth a Buy. So if you type in Worth a Buy in any game, well, not any game, but a lot of the main games, you'll get a review by him. He's from England, he's got a weird sense of humor, and he's kind of old school, but um, I really like him. And also, when I started out originally, I had like literally no subs. I did put up the Rocket League videos at the very start, and he essentially gave me some tips um, and it said I was okay so that's amazing from someone with 100,000 subs and then rounding off the list uh, I would have Total Biscuit he is an, uh, an inspiration in a sense because he's suffering from terminal cancer um, he's surviving and he's beating it I think uh, he does this weekly show called the Co-Optional Podcast um, where he has three, two guys that are usually on is Jesse and Dodger and they're pretty funny but usually gets the other person like he has had Danny O'Dwyer who I look up to, I think he's a really good journalist, um, he also has a good channel and he gets other people in and they talk about video games and I love it, I listen to it when I'm working from home and yeah, keeps me going. So they're my um, favourite YouTubers. Angry Joe. Yeah. Don't you mean average Joe, the guy who who you play and collab with? Won't you too. wreck that friendship now you said that? Another Joe? Yeah, Joe's good. God, Joe's good. Yeah. Pitiful. He's good dead by daylight. Yeah, yeah. Not, Greg's better. Question five. Pick a YouTuber to collab with. Who would I most like to collab with? Well, I think I'd like to collab with Dan from Nerd Cubed because... Dan, you haven't got back to me since I beat your challenge in Rocket League, you know, that video, you know, in case you haven't seen it, Dan, it's on screen now, Dan, why aren't you returning my calls, Daniel? Just because you think you're famous, man. Yeah, so maybe Dan. I'm surprised you didn't see... See? Or say... See, say. See, say. I'm surprised you what? didn't say that guy, PewDiePie. Pff, no, fuck God, he's away. good. He's amazing. He's not amazing. Well, Although he's friends with Jack Jacksepticeye. He's handsome. I don't particularly like. Top of the morning, dear. Question six. Where do you see your channel in the future? Where do I see my channel in the future? Besides the gutter? Ha! <laughs> hey, hey, hi. Hey, buddy. High five. Okay. Okay. Do you want the honest answer? Okay, I'll give you an honest answer. You can stop nodding. So the honest answer is, I don't really know, because I am not like some of these guys I see, who I kind of, in a way, envy, and kind of, in a way, I don't really know if I envy them, do I pity them, I'm not sure, but people who get really invested in it, because I'll be honest, at this stage, I'm just doing this as a kind of a way to justify paying three grand for a computer, when I should have got my fiance now, but back then when I bought it, I should have bought her a ring. And she kind of didn't really understand why I did that, and I nearly wrecked the relationship. So I kind of had to get something out of it, some tangible, I guess, you know, product, which was the channel. And she hates the channel, and she kind of doesn't like me doing it either. Yeah, so I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, but yeah. I don't know what's going to happen with this. It, I, it could all end tomorrow. At the moment, what's keeping me going is the guys I named earlier, uh, and also other guys in, in Clan YouTube who are a group on Twitter. Um, they, they're really kind of, they're supportive, and I enjoy talking to them. And I hope to collab with each and every one of them in the future. So, these are the real heroes, not me. I'm just a fella who plays games and talks crap and has a weird Irish accent. And one day, I will take over the world, but not on YouTube. Oh, I might start a YouTube acoustic guitar channel. <laughs> well, at least you were honest. It's the yeah. first time I can agree with you. Okay. The channel is shit. <laughs> you are shit. Okay, sorry. God, what am I here? Fuck you, agent! <laughs> okay. Question seven. Seven, thank you. Okay, thank friend. God we're getting there. Yep. What quote or saying do you live by? Quote or saying? Oh, Jesus. No, that wasn't it. It wasn't oh, Jesus, sorry. Um, eh... Uh, well, there is a saying, something I created myself, well, something I coined myself, um, that there is no such thing as sanity, but varying degrees of insanity. Let that sink in there, and you may get an insight into my life and the way I think. Because if you think about it, 
right? Put a human being in any situation with enough pressure on them, they will act irrationally and act what would be described as insanely, yeah? So I don't think there is such thing as sanity. I also like that James Dean quote, um, dream as if you'll live forever, live as if you'll die today. It's kind of poignant. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just delighted you didn't say Yoda's fucking phrase. God, I hate the little green shit. <laughs> I'm the biggest procrastinator in the world, so I couldn't say Yoda's. Question eight. Getting there, getting there. Why did you start YouTube? I kind of touched on that earlier. I started YouTube because I needed a get out of jail free card because I bought a computer and I should have bought a ring, okay? It wasn't my finest hour, but I was... I was in a bad place. I just wanted to play computer games at the highest fucking level. Yeah, and um, I also like videos and editing, and well, that's what everyone else says. I don't know. I don't even like them. I was talking to Morkstown about it recently. He's a guy on the clan YouTube, and basically, I don't want to edit shit because I'm lazy, and I get more views and stuff that I don't edit. So, like this shit here should be edited out. Like, listen to me. I'm rambling. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. So, like, you're my idol, Lord fucking Vader, and yet you're giving out to me. You should be embracing my channel, no? Uh, okay, you're giving me that look. Okay, sorry. Your answer to that was irrelevant. <laughs> you started it because you were pesky little shit. Okay. Pesky. Pesky. Question nine. Gotcha. What challenges have you faced as a YouTuber? And how did you overcome them? Well, let me see. Challenges. Hmm. Let me see. You wouldn't know a challenge if it smacked you with a lightsaber across the tushy. True. And finally, question so, I want to answer nine. Okay. What are your inspirations for videos? I don't have inspirations for videos. I see video games that I think people want to watch and I play them. To be perfectly honest, I will say one thing. And the one thing I love about YouTube is that the people I meet are great. Like, people are skeptical that you meet nice people on the internet. I've met some of the best people on the internet. I play games with some of the best people on the internet. I've had great fun. And it's like a second life. I don't know if that phrase is already coined, but it is for me. I have great friends already. I can honestly say that. Um, I've named but a few. But I will say one thing, and that is that I hope it does continue for that and that alone. The people I've met. And even my community, if you can call it a community, the small bunch of people who watch my videos, some of them get my humor, some don't. Um, but they stick with me because I guess they can relate to the fact that, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy having a bit of crack. And the odd time, if, if I bring one laugh to that person, that one time they watch a video, well, I've done my job. And that's, that's inspiring to me. Finally, it's finished. And let me just round this interview off by oh, saying... Here it goes. I have to admit, Lord Ridiculous, I do like your content. I don't. You don't have the do force, but what you do have is... is unquestionably... unquestionably... Handsomeness. ...akin to having a massive Metachlorian count. Metachlorian. Or maybe what? sperm count, I do not know. Anyway, I digress. You should all okay. watch Lord Ridiculous. He is a true lord. Coming through these ten questions with honesty and verve is the reason I think he is the, verve. the real deal. The Verve were a band back in the I days. have been Lord Vader. I have not been paid well or given <laughs> a gratuity at all, actually, for this. But I will say that the Lord is okay. Thank you. And may the Force not be with you because I will take over this universe Jesus. as father of no one. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, Lord Vader. Please, put put down put down the cup. That's my cup. Uh, okay. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate you listening to this. I hope it was entertaining to some degree. And I just want to thank my friend, Average Joe, for giving me the nomination. And I would like to nominate Drew, a.k.a. Commander Awesome. I would like to nominate Victor Virus, my friend from Poland, even though he's in South Africa, I think. And also, I would like to nominate Hulk Smash, because he's awesome, and I'm not sure he's done one yet. 
Hmm, right, that's your lot. I've been Lord Ridiculous, you've been awesome. Until next time, my friends. Hit like, hit like. <laughs>